Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today it is time to yet again do our weekly wish list or washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moods in the Instagram page and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. So before we jump into this week's new products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series and if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. And guys, I'm so excited. We actually just hit... 2,000 subscribers on this channel. I can't believe, I honestly can't believe it. I'm so happy with how this channel is going and I'm just so happy to have all of you guys along. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I did film a very special 2,000 celebration video with my boyfriend. I'm hoping I can get it edited and posted on Friday and if I can, which I think I can, I'm almost done. I really do want to do another premiere with it because that was so much fun. If you caught my premiere of my last big video, my big declutter, that was a ton of fun. Just sitting around and getting to talk to you guys and watch the video together. So I think that's an awesome idea. And I really want to do that premiere this Friday. So it'll premiere my normal time at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It's actually like storming today to the point where I'm just going to Uber to my train station because if I walk there, I'll probably get completely soaked. Like it's not even like you can use an umbrella. It's like it's raining sideways. So as usual, we have quite a few products to go through. And the first one that I see here are new Lily Lashes. These are the premium synthetic lash line. Honestly, I've never tried any Lily Lashes. I'm not a huge fan of false lashes. I have a drawer of them, I try to make myself use them, but at the end of the day I'm not a person that can wear a lash every day, especially to work. If I do like a special look or anything, I could definitely wear a lash. I've gotten to the point where I've practiced and I can actually like put a lash on, which I used to not be able to do. But I'm not reaching for them that often and I don't really reach for also very expensive lashes. So I don't know if I would ever try any of these, but I know everyone and their mother talks about Lily Lashes. So if you've ever tried them, let me know down below and let me know if like they're actually worth trying out for someone who doesn't wear lashes that often. So Kylie came out with a lip kit for her mom, I think. It's the, uh, or for her mom's birthday. That's kind of cute. Uh, but it's just a nude lip kit. I don't really see... No, I'm not going to pick it up. I feel like it's a cute idea, but I'm not going to go out of my way to pick up a nude lip kit. I've only actually gotten, I think, one actual lip kit from Kylie, and it was a gift. <laughs> oh no, that's a lie. Was the green one a lip kit, or did I buy that separately? I don't know. I can't remember if the green lipstick, if I bought that in a kit, or if that was, like, I had to buy them separately. But if anything, that might be the only lip kit that I've actually gotten. Everything else has been, like, the eyeshadow palette and stuff. I don't think I mentioned these last time, the Kylie glosses. Mm. I've got a container full of glosses that I don't touch. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on glosses that I'm also not going to touch. So NARS is coming out with a couple of new products. They have a super radiant booster, which I guess is kind of like a light, like a liquid concealer, I'm assuming. They have a high coverage natural radiant long wear foundation which isn't that kind of what they just came out with. Expanding to 40 shades. Okay, so they're coming out with new shades of that foundation. Um, they're coming out with eight new shades of their concealer and then an eyeshadow palette. None of, I've never seen a NARS eyeshadow palette that has made me want it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a bit interesting that like the top row kind of looks like contour and highlight shades. So it's a little bit multi-purpose. You've got like a face palette and an eye palette, but I'm not gonna go out of my way for that. It's a, it's neutral and I don't like the ratio of mattes to shimmers in the palette. You only have like in that bottom row of eyeshadows two mattes and the rest look like either satins or shimmers. The top row is all matte, but I mean, okay, it's just not a neutral palette that's really calling to me. So this is a brand that I've seen on Trend Mood, but I've only also seen like in like weird Facebook ads that make me think that it's probably like meh. This is Carity, 
I've never tried anything from Carity. I feel like they just have like these big eyeshadow palettes and they always show pictures of like swatches on fingers and this palette looks boring as hell. It's just your warm neutral whatever. So I'm wondering, has anyone ever tried Carity? Like are they actually okay or are they just like a, a knockoff Morphe? So I didn't know that these were like eyeshadow palettes at first. I don't know why I thought they were highlight palettes. But these are from Wander Beauty and I guess they're available at Sephora and they are just some kind of really dull looking eyeshadow palettes and they're $25 each for six shades. Eh. They have one warm tone palette and one cool tone palette but honestly they just look bland and dull. So Tom Ford is coming out with some new quads and they're a little bit more colorful. I don't know, I don't reach for like these smaller palettes as I've said a million times before and I know with all of these like luxury brands they tend to stick to like quads and trios and like duos so I don't know. I feel like, I'll, well A, they're $88 for four shadows. That alone's not gonna make me pick this up but even then looking at the color schemes they're calling these colorful but really are they? So I don't know if this is going to be available here. It says right now it's available on the UK website for Sephora or for Anastasia Beverly Hills. They're coming out with a set that comes with the clear brow gel that I adore and the brow is. Now if it had been the clear brow gel and the dip brow, I would have bought like three of these. Because it's $25 for both of them. But I don't really use the Brow Wiz. And while I love the clear brow gel, I've been doing my best to find a dupe. Because I think $20 is a lot for something that I go through fairly quickly. But so far it's still the best clear brow gel that I've tried. So it's tough. But anyway, if you are a fan of the clear brow gel and the Brow Wiz, I think this is an awesome deal. And that you should probably pick this kit up. But it only comes in four shades. So it only comes in taupe, medium brown, dark brown, and ebony. So if you use one of those shades and you like both these products, jump on that kit. So when is Farsali going to be done coming out with different versions of the exact same damn thing? This is the new Liquid Glass Perfecting Primer. I made the mistake of trying out a mini of one of these. And I hated it. It was a horrible primer. I could not figure out a way to use it. I even put it in a project pan project and I could not get through it. So I will never pick up another false Solly whatever. Because honestly, it's just Instagram, like clickbait, whatever. Oh, it's shiny. It looks pretty. That's it. That's it. And this is no different. So just I'm staring clear far away from this. Okay, so I can't actually tell what the brand name of this is. But I've never heard of it either way. And it's called, the palette itself, it's called the Urban Bible. Which the packaging looks pretty cute. The shades are interesting. When you look at the swatches, like, gorgeous. Gorgeous. They're also coming out with a brush kit. I think this is a collab, but I've never heard of the brand or the person. I think it's like a European brand and a European YouTuber. So I have no idea. Sosu, is that the name of the brand? S-O-S-U? Okay, no clue, but I think the palette actually does look pretty. I just, I have no idea if I'd be able to get it, like, without paying incredible, like, shipping fees. But it does look beautiful. Whoa, what a surprise. Colourpop is coming out with new products. See, I knew it. Disney is literally collabing with every beauty whatever under the sun. They're doing a collab with Dose of Colors, too. I, oh, I don't know. What is it with Disney suddenly like collabing with everybody? I, I have no idea. Again, another eyeshadow palette from NARS that is just meh. I've never seen a NARS eyeshadow palette that I actually wanted. So the brand Lawless, I think I've mentioned them a couple of times during these weekly wows, coming out with their first eyeshadow palette and it's just warm neutrals. Is anyone else kind of ready for like this trend to end? Like I feel like I have every warm neutral that I could ever need. I don't know. I just really hope in 2019 we... I don't care what comes out, just as long as it's not a warm neutral palette. Jesus Christ. 
So BH Cosmetics posted a like teaser photo about November 22nd and it's like Zodiac theme so I think this is the sister palette of the Zodiac palette coming out. I think they mentioned that a long time ago they mentioned like an Instagram do you want to see like a smaller version or a sister version of the Zodiac and like everyone said yes. So if this is actually the same formula I would be highly interested. I love the Zodiac palette. Love it to pieces. So Mac and Patrick Star are coming out with their fifth round of collabs. It's just I know everyone loves Patrick Star and that the collabs have been getting okay reviews, but five? Ugh. I feel like that's just too much. Too much. I feel like every other week there's another Mac and Patrick Star collab. In this one, I think they're bringing back the loose powder that everybody really liked. And there's two eyeshadow palettes and they just look meh. They've got some glitters, they've got some more lipsticks. Like, really, I mean, how... Is there just gonna always be a Mac and Patrick Star collab? Just every other month? Forever? Oh, this is something that I'm actually super excited about and I cannot wait to try. Milani is coming out with a matte version of their Make It Last spray. And it's like a charcoal matte. Oh, it looks awesome, and I cannot wait to try it out. I might try to get it from the website when it comes out, but I gotta see like how shipping is, because I doubt I'll see it in any of my local stores anytime soon. Alright guys, and I think that's gonna be it for this week. We had a lot of products this week, and I don't know, I feel like it was very wishy-washy. As always, let me know what you guys thought of the products down below. Let me know if you're excited to see that 2,000 subscribers special on Friday. And if you're going to be joining me for the premiere, I'm going to be online in the like, little chat box starting at 6 a.m. And I'll be there throughout the video. It should, it's about a half an hour, so it'll be through 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.